I got my work cut out so I won't be able to record everything until I kind of work through this fast but listen to this guys this mud hole is going to be filled up with bullets and they are all around through here so I'm going to work on this and then once I get a lot of these out then uh, I'll let you guys see what's going on Yeah, alrighty guys, uh, just started off the morning. We haven't been in the woods probably maybe about 20 minutes or so. Uh, got me a nice uh, 58 uh, uh, 60 hit on the F75 and basically just scraped back just a couple of inches. And got my first target for the morning and got a bullet right there. And this is gonna be a 58 caliber Williams cleaner and that is gonna be a type three. And uh, these came in, of course, three varieties, and this is more the later version as the wool progressed. But it's got a plunger on the bottom, and these were used for supposedly for cleaning out the rifle and barrels with the zinc washer on the bottom. So that is a good start. Alrighty, guys. Well, let's see what else we get into, and we'll check in with the other fellows here in a little bit. Alrighty guys, next target here for me. I literally haven't even moved four feet. But uh, you can see where I just dug the Williams cleaner. I swung over here, got another 58 to 60 hit here. It was a little bit deeper, probably pushing about eight inches or so. And the ground's kind of wet, so it was giving a good signal. And there is another bullet here, and it, this looks like this is going to be a Williams cleaner as well. Uh, nice little cocoon on it. So let's break that loose. We'll take a look at this thing together here. Yep, sure enough. Check that out. Another dropped Williams cleaner. Well, we're going to hunt this area really hard here. Get up all underneath all these saplings and stuff like that and see what else we can get into. But that is cool. Number two. Alrighty. We'll see y'all at the next one. Alrighty, next signal here. Uh, got another 58 to 62. Uh, no more down, probably about four inches or so. Uh, flip the plug out, and I don't know if you can see it. Check it out. Right there. It'll be another Williams cleaner. And all of these are dropped. So we are in a good spot here. The ground's really wet. We just had some rain not too long ago. But hopefully we'll get some buttons out of here. But, uh, yep, that's a good one. They're three for three on the targets. All righty, guys. Well, let's see what else we get into, and we will catch you on the next one. All right, guys, next signal here. Um, I left uh, where I was digging those bullets and moved probably about 20 yards or so. I was picking up small pieces of a uh, little camplet and stuff like that. And I just got me a loud signal, like 72. And I just barely scraped back just a little bit. And look at this massive chunk of melted lead. Look at that. So there's probably like campfires and stuff in here. It's just where they would throw bullets and stuff down in the fire and uh, make, you know, just whatever, just be toying around. So, but that is a massive chunk of melted lead right there. So, that's a good sign. So, looks like we're right in the middle of this camp. So, we'll see what else we can pluck out of here. But, I like that. That's a good sign. Nice and heavy, too. Alrighty. Well, let's see what else we get into, and we'll see you all in the next one. Alrighty, well I have finished digging this area out here. Uh, it was probably only 20 inches by 20 inches. It was definitely a small little campfire or something like that. Uh, and they just had tossed probably bullets in there and they'd melted up pretty good. But I gotten everything out of it. 
and this is what I ended up with yeah, a whole bunch of slag iron and stuff it was just piles of bullet just melted up and that's all the other signals that I was hearing that y'all got to check out too but uh yeah hopefully uh, maybe we get some buttons or something up in here but we're definitely right in the middle of the camp and uh and the fires were here all righty well we'll see what else we get into and then um hopefully we find some more buttons or something and some bullets all righty we'll see you all in the next one all right uh next signal here uh was hitting probably right around 23 to 24 uh was thinking it more like buckshot but it was giving me a nice repeatable signal and sure enough it was uh good if you take a look down here see this little grommet right here take that out right there that would go on like a rubber blanket and um, some of the other gear that they would carry well that could have very easily have been a little cuff button but uh that is a cool little piece all righty well let's see what else we get into and we'll check you on the next one all righty guys uh jt called me over he said he got a good one out of the hole here just a few minutes ago so it took me a few minutes to get over here but uh let's go over here and talk with him what's up bud yeah, good morning up, man good morning yeah I, I dug this trash this can right here along this old road and uh you know I, there was a lot of iron and trash around here but i got a real iffy signal right here and um so well, I'll, I'll check it out and dug this out oh look at that guys look at that that's a beautiful 44 caliber henry still in the cartridge man that is one excellent find right there man Whew. heck yeah yeah. Now some of these things they're marked right there on the base, but he'll check that out once he cleans it up. But that is that is just pristine right there. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful find, buddy. Happy with that. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, yeah. dude. Big score. Yeah, man. Big score. All right. Well, congrats, man. Thanks. All righty. Well, we'll get, let him get back to digging, and uh, there's Mr. B over there. Yeah. Little, little leather All right. Cool. Cool. Alrighty guys, well, we'll get in here and hunker down a little bit and uh, see what else we can do and uh, we'll see y'all shortly. Alright guys, just left JT where after he dug his uh, uh, Henry bullet and it walked about 20-30 feet, got me a nice 33 hit and got me a nice little button, first one for the day. That's going to be an eagle cuff button probably about 14 millimeters a little push in the face of it but that's all right shanks on it but fold it over but we will take that all righty guys well good start there all righty well we'll see y'all in a little bit all right guys uh jt called me over um he's gotten into like a little fire pit and stuff um you got a couple what p caps and stuff out of here too yeah yeah okay iron and bunch of melted lead so far not okay. really brass yet yeah but he's pulling out lead now just right. like i did yeah. earlier yeah bottom to a ration can but he's got a huge chunk of lead down in the bottom of this thing where they were throwing stuff down in here and let him expose a little bit of that so as you can see all that right there man it's a lot of lead down here in the bottom of this thing so we'll sit here and uh, watch him dig this thing out. Maybe I'll pull a nice button out of there. That is one massive piece of lead right there, man. But he said he's got uh, nails and stuff like that out of here. And th this is typical for fire pits, man. When they're just sitting around, uh, they just throw everything in there. If they had a whole bunch of... That is massive, man. But if they're just sitting around, they'll be throwing all kinds of stuff. You can see the uh, black powder and stuff down there where they just do the cases and stuff in there. Probably uh, paper cartridges and stuff like that. Uh, powder got wet, so they just threw the bullets down in the fire. And nice that this is a plate. Yep, that is a huge piece of lead right there. Now you can see the black ash and stuff on that. Cool. There should be another piece here. Yeah, there's a chunk. Another. Oh. 
and more. Look at that. That's a lot of lead for a fire pit. And you could not hear it from the surface. And that ash and uh, stuff, it just kind of deadens the ground where you can't hear this stuff until you get down in the hole a little bit. You still got more in there? I don't see any more lead right away, but I see a lot of ash right now. Alright guys, well, we'll let him finish digging this thing out. Oh, what you got? Oh, it almost looked like fabric or something. Is that? It might just be ash, but... Okay. Kind of look like leather or something. I don't know. But anyhow, we'll let him finish up with this. If he digs anything good out of here, we'll definitely get back with him. Alrighty guys, see y'all shortly. Yeah, alrighty guys, uh, I was just getting ready to dig a signal here. My buddy Johnny just showed up here. How you doing, Johnny? Good. Doing any good, man? Couple bullets and a keycap. Nice, man. Nice. Awesome, man. Awesome. Well, I just got me a nice signal here, and it was showing up probably around 23 to 24. Well, it's not that deep, guys. And um, flip my dirt back, and got me some brass here. Check that out. That's going to be a nice little cuff button there. Still got the shank on the back of it. Yeah, it's going to be hard to tell exactly what it is, but I think it's probably just going to be a general service button, which is good. So we will take that, put that in the pouch, and uh, we'll hunt around here a little bit further and uh, see what else we can get into. Alrighty, guys. Well, we'll see you on the next target. Alrighty. Uh, next signal for me here. I got a nice 45 hit. Uh, down up underneath this sapling right here and uh, dug down probably no more about six inches or so Ground has had a lot of moisture in here, but unfortunately I do have another button Let me Take a look at that right there, and this is going to be a general service coat button Check that out. Still got the shank on the back of it But these things just did not hold up well where the ground was really really wet and you see the edging of it is it's about ready to fall apart unfortunately Get that red copper tint to it on the edges of it just tell the face of it just not in good shape but anyhow that is cool so there's another button there so we'll take that and um let's we'll see what else we can get into and uh catch up with the fellas and see what they got all righty well, appreciate y'all hanging out let's go see what else we find guys see y'all shortly all right guys uh buddy called me over said he had a surprise and he found it right on top of the ground underneath the pine needles now let's go over here and see what he's got going on there. What's up, brother? All right. Yeah, man. Boom. Uh-oh. That's a button. Heck yeah, man. Nice general service, man. I like that. That's sweet. And that thing was just right up underneath the pine needles right here. Look at that. So what else you got going on, man? Hadn't seen you in a while. Uh, that button. No, shoe buckle. big old shoe buckle. Parts of ration cans. Flat button. More flat buttons. Flat More button. flat buttons. Iron button. Flat button. Another flat button. Hey, this boy's been busy. A little. Uh, a little Look like a spur buckle. Another one. Nice. Uh, Could have been part of a burn side casing, I don't know. Yeah. Tack. Alright. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. uh, another eagle button. Cuff button. Another eagle cuff. Yep, yep. Yep, sure is. There's another one there. Yep. Yep, nice eagle cuff there, guys. Another coat. Nice, bud. Nice, man. Cool. I like that one sitting on top of the ground, though. That's what. That's the way to find them right there. Look at that. That's sweet. Alrighty, man. Good yep. job, bud. Good yep. job, man. Getting it done. Alrighty, man. Well, we're gonna try to catch up with everybody else here shortly and see what's going on. 
Well, congrats on that. Nice find on top of the ground. <laughs> all right. All right, guys. Well, we checked in with him. We're going to see what these others are doing, and uh, we'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, guys. We're taking just a little bit of a break here. I got me a pit myself going on right here. Got a couple bullets out of it, and that's about it. I'm about ready to cover it up, but JT came over, so we're going to see what he's got. What's going on, brother? Man, ain't seen you in a little while, man. Yeah. Part of a ration can, top. A um, couple Spencer shelf casings. Nice. Um, just multiple, multiple different varieties of bullets. William Cleaner, Sharps, regular three ringer. A couple fired bullets. Um, some gun screw. It's kind oh, that's of cool. cool. Yeah, probably do a Springfield or something like that, I guess. Yeah. Tent grommet, four hole. Oh, sweet, button. man. Heck yeah. Yep, some percussion caps and bottom to a part to a barrel tap yep sure is good uh, deal man got a knife broken knife um and a whole pile of melted lead oh i got a yeah it was a big piece you got earlier sh a shinkle shell frag no oh, that's nice and first one of those today got to be some more of them in here yep mm, just a whole lot of melted lead yeah, that's a scrap pile there. Oh, and best find of the day. Yeah. Yeah, that's that Henry right there. They, we saw earlier, guys. That is uh, that's a sweet find. Don't find them too often complete. Awesome, man. Appreciate yeah, man. it, buddy. Congrats, man. Boom. We're going to hit it again tomorrow, though. That's right. And get it done. All right, buddy. Johnny, how'd you do today, I buddy? I did all right. Not as good as, uh, as him, but three bullets. First, I've never got one of those sharps. With okay, solid yeah, base. nice 52 caliber. Yeah. And some people call those eye base. You see that little mold seam on the end right. of them. That's a nice crisping right there. Yeah. Couple 58 calibers. Dug those right when I walked in the woods and P caps and stuff. A little bit of. That's a little lead. Nice, nice. Yep. Well, cool, bud. Appreciate <laughs> you sharing it with us, yep. man. Cool. Alrighty, well, we're gonna get at it again tomorrow and see what's going on, man. You ready? I'm ready. All right, man. Good. Right. Yeah. It might. Alrighty, guys, caught up with Daniel. I seen Buddy earlier, and I had not seen him. What's going on, man? Okay. Yep, getting warm out here now, ain't it? Like 70 some degrees now, and it's just, it's hot, man. It's hot. And ticks are crawling on us, but anyhow, let's see what you end up with, bud. Head under a little bit this morning, and got a few flat buttons here. And Two little ball buttons. No, oh, that's nice. Yep. Early little colonial buttons there. A couple of nice flatties. There's a little cuff button there. Oh, buckle. Yep, nice little buckle. That's sweet. A little sash. Looks like the T bar, the bar on it there soldered on. So that is real cool. I like that. Nice, nice, nice. And you got a few other little odds and ends. You got a little small pocket lock here. Yeah, that's what they call a Mickey Mouse type lock with the ears on it right there. That is cool. And a few little iron buckles and a piece of spoon and a bunch of muffled lead. Nice, nice. Yeah, right, well, you're getting in a little bit of something. Good job. Yep. All right. And Buddy's digging another hole over there and pulling ticks off of him. Yep, look at that. We'll see what he can get into there. A little bit of ash, he said, and some tin. And heat. And heat. <laughs> a lot of heat. Hold no? That I found in my pouch. Okay, cool. Alrighty, guys. Well, we'll see what we do here, and then uh, probably go get something else to drink and get back at it. And we'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, guys, they come over here to check out what uh, Daniel and Buddy got into. And uh, they're getting down pretty deep. They're close to about 30 inches down there. But they've already pulled out an uh, eagle coat button. Still got the shank on the back of it. Melted lead. Little rivet. White shirt button. But uh, they just made a really, really cool find down at the bottom of it there. What do you got, Daniel? Pulled out. 
almost a complete pipe bowl here. That is cool, man. Got some nice designs down on the end of it. That's cool. Heck yeah. Yeah, the rest of the stem might be down in there too. But that is nice. All right. Boom. Good job, guys. Good job. What are you doing? Picking ticks? Yeah, unfortunately. Picking ticks. Everywhere. All right. I'm going to let these guys get back at it, man. So we're still getting some rocks out. All right, guys. We'll see you on a little bit.